Good afternoon. It is April the 25th, 2023, coming to you from the Caribbean Princess. Anyhow, I wanted to talk in regards to kind of a crap strategy, a betting strategy. Um, there are really no good craps betting strategies or everybody would do them if they thought they were gonna win all the time. So it is impossible to win all the time. You lose a whole lot of the times. Most of the time I will lose, but you have to have a filter on yourself. And we talked about that in many of my videos. So here at the Caribbean Princess at the craps table, we're in San Juan, Puerto Rico right now at Port. Casino's closed, nobody's in here except a few people are walking to and from getting ready to go ashore. But I wanted to talk about a version besides subscribe to my channel right here, Cruising with Mark, and email me at Cruising with Mark without the G at gmail.com. And I try to answer everybody that always emails me. And thank you for participating. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate that. I do this, I try to pay this forward and give all the tips and advice I can can tell from all my years of playing all these different uh, table games, mostly craps. But, so, how I, now, there is a difference if you are gonna earn free cruises or if you're just playing to try to win money. Two different animals, two different animals, okay? First of all, you, I come to earn free cruises. You don't win free cruises, you earn free cruises, and you have to do it as a business, okay? So when you earn free cruises, you're not, you're not betting odds or pass line because you are only comped and rated on place bets and bets that are not odds. Odds behind the pass line are never comp or rated. You may hear differently, I'm telling you the truth, okay? It's a whole different ball game if you're trying to win money. If you're trying to win and not worrying about getting the most maximum amount of exposure to earn free cruises, that's fine. Then just play the pass line which is a one-to-one -one odds. And then back it up with the two times, which is the most that you can bet on cruise ships. It's not like Vegas where you can buy, bet back it up odds 100 times or you know three, four, or five times the odds. On cruise ships, it doesn't matter what point is rolled, you can only back, back it up two times. So if you throw it on $5, you can back it up with $10 in odds. But, when you're earning free cruises, what I do is I place the bets because every dollar that is out on the table that I'm placing bets that's not involved with odds, I'm getting rated and comped at a higher level for it. So, one of the ways that I, I do, if I'm going to try to earn free cruises, I'm going in with a version of the Iron Cross, okay? There are a gazillion different theories and strategies, but... I have up here, I bet a $25 five, a $30 six, a $30 eight, and I put $5 on the field, okay? That gives me $90 of action, okay? That is more than enough money to have every roll for two or four hours in the casino when you buy in with over $1,000. If you're buying, if you're playing ninety dollars right here, then you need to be buying in with at least three thousand dollars every single night, because you need to have at least a three thousand dollar bankroll. The higher the bankroll that you buy in with, and you play, the higher the betting, and the higher the time you stay at the craps table. The higher the level offer of cruising you will receive. So, if you want to guarantee the Easter Bunny, Santa Claus, Tooth Fairy, aka the host, and on this cruise ship, the host is super duper. Penelope is one of the best, hands down. So, I wanted to give a little shout out to her. She is fantastic. She is real. So, anyhow, 
when you bet here, okay, buy him with $3,000 and bet some sort of version here. Now, 25, 30, 30. And I learned from my buddy Eugene on last month on this cruise, he said, Mark, you want to have a one to six ratio between your number six or eight bet to your field bet. It seems to work. Those numbers, he's, he's, he's very well off. He knows what he's talking about. So $30 on here on the six, one sixth of that is $5 in the field. Okay, so that's the right ratio. So they were betting $100 on the five, 150 on the six, 150 on the eight, and they were betting a $25 chip, i.e. one of these green ones. They were betting a $25 chip in the field. 150 down to 25 in the field is one sixth. So that seems to be the ratio. But you can do any denomination of this, this betting, okay? 25, 30, 30, and five, okay? Now, I also add, every time I roll, I'm up at the top, $5 on all small, $10 on make them all, $5 on all tall, and then I put, I throw a $5 chip up here on the big red that is the seven that is for only I only do that on the come out roll because that will take because all these bets are off on the come out roll okay and I really don't even bet these until the point is established but even if so let's just say for fun and games um, that I'll just say arbitrarily but let's say that that the uh, eight is the point okay I still only bet this iron cross of five, six, and eight. We will go into dice memory from each player and each dice in another video, but I'm gonna tell you that whatever the point is, okay, now, if the point is a nine, I'm covered with it in the field because any number that's rolled, when you have this version of iron cross going, five, six, eight, those three numbers are not field bet numbers, okay? So the $5 will cover any roll that is rolled. So literally, as you know with the Iron Cross, every roll you're making money on, regardless, except when the bad number, the seven, comes out. But every other roll you are making money for as long as the seven doesn't come out. So a lot of times that if I, let's say I, I get this and it's a double, and instead of $5, they turn it into 15, I then will, I will then place with the $10 or the $5 of winnings from the field, I will place the four. I'll place the four. When it hits, and you have $10 when it hits, you tell them to buy it. Buy the four. You'll get $2 back on a $10 bet and they will put it at $25 and they will they will charge you $1 of commission to buy the, the four or the 10, either number. But I know that's in the whole other talk, but I'm talking about the Iron Cross here. And so you can do this in any denomination. So if you buy them with $3,000, you need to be playing, have $90 in action right here. You also need to come back here. I always do the hard ways. And specifically, if the eight is rolled or the six is rolled, the 10 or the four, I always make sure that I have a correlating hard way bet on that point, okay? So for instance, if, the hard, if an eight is the point, I at least do a $10 hard eight because there is one in five chances that that uh, when the eight is rolled, it's gonna be a hard way. Okay, there's five ways an eight can be rolled, five ways an eight, a six can be rolled, six ways a seven can be rolled. There is four ways a five or nine can be rolled, and three ways a four or 10 can be rolled. There's two ways a three or 11 can be rolled, and there's only one way a two 
or 12 can be rolled. Also, there's only one way any of these hard ways can be rolled. That's a whole other video, but if the eight is the point, I make sure I have at least $10 up there on the eight. If you don't want to put any of the other hard ways, because this is not a hard way roller, then just keep it up here on that. So right there, you have $90 in, and you have 10, 15, 20 dollars on the make them alls, and all small, tall, and make them all. So there's a hundred and twenty dollars you have in. If you do that every single roll for two or three hours at the craps table, the last two nights I've been at the craps table for four and a half hours from eight until twelve thirty. I don't even have to be at the craps table, but I enjoy playing craps and. Maybe I'm a little bit addicted to playing craps, but I I play it because um, I don't need any more free cruise offers. I have them covered until 2025, so I'm just playing just for fun. So if you want to do the Iron Cross at $3,000 buy-in, do it. Okay, when you lose three or four hundred dollars in a night cash in, color up, cash in, get out of there. I am asked all the time, Mark, do I have to lose $3,000 every night? That's $20,000 on a week cruise. Really? Like I said in a previous video, if you lose $20,000 playing craps or gambling in a week because you lost all your buy-in, you need to change sports. Stop, stop gambling, try something else. Maybe ping pong, pool, you know, do something different. But gambling is not your thing if you're losing three thousand dollars a night. Put a filter on yourself. Lose three or four hundred dollars because you got to bet heavy when you bet three thousand dollars to buy in because you're trying to get really good cruise offers and you want to get into the system. Watch my videos; I explain how to do that. But you can do a version of of the Iron Cross. You can go down and just do, and I don't have all the denominators, instead of a 15, 30, 30, you can do a, a 10, 12, 12. That's $34 in. You know, still throw the $5 up there, but if you go down to doing the minimum, the five, the six, and six for $17, it's anticlimactic for you to throw five dollars on the pass on the uh, field because what happens is this okay so if you lose your field bet let's say this six let's say the six is rolled and you lose your five dollar field bet and you're just getting you're only getting seven dollars back on a six dollar bet on the six or eight so you, you're you're making two dollars on a roll instead of making more money so I don't even play the field bet if you're just going the minimums five six and six but like I've told you on other videos minimum bets are fine if you're just trying to make money but you will never get free cruises if you're just a minimum better period a lot of you may differ with me, but I know from playing and seeing this every single day on, on a cruise ship, and I see the offers that everybody gets, I always make sure I know what offers people get, and you will not be getting any free, you can buy in with $3,000 every single night, but if you're only betting $17 on the crap set, and maybe you throw in a hard way and to make them all, you're not getting anything as far as a free cruise off. I can guarantee you that, period, okay? You will get, under your door, you will get maybe $150 or $300 in free play, or you may get a percentage off, but you're not getting free cruises, so you're really not getting into the Princess Players Club system. So you need to be at least, at least bare minimum, 10, 12, 12, $5 in the field. That's 34, that's $39. Do a couple hard ways, that puts you, that puts you at 
Bill up top here, at least $5 up top on the make them all. That's $54. That's fine. $54, as long as you're over $50 in the get-go to earn free cruises on the craps table, you gotta be at least $50 or above. But if you can jack it up, go higher. Put down a 15, an 18, and an 18. So then all of a sudden, you have $51 right there, $5 on the field. So that's $56, maybe $10 here on the, on the hard way. That's $66 and $5 up here on the make them all. So you got $71 of action, okay? You're getting free cruises on $71 of action if you stay at the craps table for two hours every single night, okay? The longer you stay, the, the more compound interest you will receive. So that is, that's my talk on the easiest way to earn free cruises. Get in your mind that when you come on a cruise, whether you got a free cruise offer from one of the land-based casinos and you picked uh, this cruise ship, or any of the princess cruises. This also works the same way on Carnival, but I'm just talking about princess because I spend most of my time on princess cruises. But you have to you have to play, and, and this is another rabbit trail. But Royal Caribbean and Celebrity, they have what is called just like when you're playing for M Life in in uh, in Las Vegas any of those casinos is that they do a yearly kind of point thing that you know you you need a hundred thousand points to get free cruises or something like that you get to the certain tier whether it's you know pearl or sapphire or gold or platinum or whatever level it is they, they keep on doing it a yearly basis like one of my best gambling buddies here, Mike, he'll be here again uh, in a couple of weeks, or he'll be here next week, actually. And uh, how he bets, and he's he is in on all the cruises, and he's like the, the master level on Royal, okay? But that's not, Princess and Carnival, it's each cruise counts. I mean, they start over at each cruise. Your points on slot machines start over on each cruise. So they only count to earn a free cruise. It's autonomous, it's new every single cruise. So you've got to bet every single cruise, play balls to the wall to earn a free cruise. When you get your free cruise offer from a land offer and you land here, and, or let's just say you're paying for a cruise and you come here, you got to play like you're gonna earn a free cruise. You can't think about winning a free cruise. That's out. Anybody can win a free cruise. That's like through the lottery. Or you get to win a free cruise when they give you one from a land-based casino. To earn a free cruise is a business. You gotta be up here at least $51. Thir I'm confusing myself. $34 is the minimum. 10, 12, and 12, $5 in there and then something like that. That will put you at $54, I believe. That's the minimum to play. But if you can elevate it to 15, or to 15, 18, 18, or 25, 30, 30, if you, if you want to get for sure, go with 50, 60, and 60. Then you'll have like, what's that? You'll have $170 and you'll be having $200 on the table. You'll be getting anything you want, but you got to, to put this and don't use this. You know, the dealers, if you ever listen to the dealers at the craps table, what do they always say? They say, you don't have a pass line, you're not on the pass line. They, they and then they'll, their next thing is they're gonna say, you need odds behind there, you need odds. Well, they're telling you to put odds behind there, but they're not rating or copping you on their odds. So when you're trying to earn free cruises, forget the odds. For, take that. Okay. When they start rolling, just put something up on the make them all. Okay. 
nothing else is going on. And let's say all of a sudden that the, the nine is the point, okay? Well, that's not a good analogy. Let me give you if the five is a point, because you can do an iron cross and add the nine, and if, if you're not betting heavy and forget the field, that's another talk. But instead of having the $5 in pass line and $10 behind it for $15, it's more advantage to you to earn free cruises to take that $15 that you have here and place it on a five. Place it on any, place, place it on the point. If nine is the point, then take that $15 and throw it up here and you're getting rated for $15 and not worrying about the odds back here. And it's the same level of payout, okay? Because pass line is one to one. So anyhow, once again, that was a long talk, um, but that is how I would do it. If I'm coming on a cruise and I wanna play craps and I wanna earn free cruises, earn free cruises. And the best way to do that is to earn a free cruise is to do some version of this iron cross. I'm not saying you're going to win all the time, but I'm saying that it is a strategy at least that you're going to have over $50 in the, in, on play in action all the time. So that is what I would do. So let me grab my little thing here. That, that was another long video, but anyhow and email me at cruising with mark at gmail.com um oh yeah email me at cruising with mark without the g at gmail.com and i'll answer everybody back if you have some uh, comments that you don't want to share on the board that's fine just email me and i'll be glad to to uh, email you back i try to answer most of you sometimes the wi-fi on these cruise ships is lacking if you will and it's so slow but anyhow um that is the truth i got my uh, another life is good shirt on instead of one of my sea dogs and life is good and, and it represents baseball give a shout out to the tampa bay rays once again my home team and uh, they're doing fantastic they've kind of hit a couple losses lately but they started off 13 and 0 which tied a record ever of uh, winning the most games in an opening so okay that's the story um i wanted to uh well i'm not gonna give any shout outs to anybody else right now i'm just gonna tell you just try that version if you're trying to win money trying to if you're trying to earn free cruises earn free cruises do that so till then subscribe to my channel you'll have a really good day